same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and Cover. This is an official civil defense film produced in cooperation with the Federal Civil Defense Administration and in consultation with the Safety Commission of the National Education Association. Produced by Future Productions Incorporated. Paul and Patty know this. No matter where they go or what they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. And cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. And cover. First, you duck. duck. And then, and you cover. cover. You duck and duck. cover tight. And duck cover. and cover under the table. Duck. It's a bomb, and duck and cover. cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You. And you, and you, and you, duck, and cover. Drop, cover, and hold. Similar to duck and cover. Dum dum, deedle dum dum. Today was the first, first I ever thought of, wow, they were calling us dum dum, the baby boomers. Yeah, duck and cover to survive. An atom bomb dropped in your area. Boy, weren't we dumb. This has been going on for my entire life in this country. Traumatizing, infantilizing, always a cartoon. Oh, wow. And if they had dropped an atom bomb, it would have been hard for them to claim that it was another country since we were the country with the atom bomb. And, oh, well, we didn't drop it on us, we actually dropped it on others. And we think we are morally superior. Oh my God, the delusions that we Americans have about our government and our people and our country and our military. They're here to protect us. What greater way to take out Americans, to take over the country, but by weather. We have lived a privileged, rather peaceful existence while we have been destroying other countries, destroying other people around the world. Oh, but we've been doing it because we have to stop evil. We've been the evil. But maintain those delusions Yes, use weather as a weapon, and Americans, well, dum-dum, deedle-dum-dum, they're not going to do the research to find out that weather is being used as a weapon. They won't do the research to find out that the technology that man has and has been using to create earthquakes and tsunamis and flash flooding and hurricanes, tornadoes. No, they won't check it out. So we can just keep doing it. California, please, you guys, be prepared because this is coming to you. 
You guys know it. But how do you prepare for an earthquake when you don't know what size it's going to be, where, when it's going to happen, where you're going to be, and how the earth is just going to open up and crack. And so you're to drop, cover, and hold uh, actually in less than an hour. Millions in California and tens of millions around the globe. Oh, I said globe. Uh, in Japan, in New Zealand, in Canada, you're going to be dropping and covering and holding to survive man creating an earthquake for you. Um, you can you can prepare all you want, but I hope to God that everybody is in that right spot where they don't have to suffer the consequences. The great shakeout earthquake drill. It'll be held in less than an hour. And millions of people across California will drop to the ground, take cover under a desk, table, or other sturdy surface, and hold on for 60 seconds. So if you see this occurring, well, you will know that your fellow Californians are very obedient. 10 million people registered for the shakeout. I can't imagine that to be true, uh, including 3.3 million in Los Angeles County, uh, nearly a million in Orange County. They're all going to be dropping and covering and holding. Unbelievable. You need to know how to protect yourself in an earthquake. People who are outdoors should find a clear spot away from trees, buildings, and power lines, then drop cover and hold. People who are driving should pull over to a clear area, stop and stay seated with seatbelt fastened until the shaking stops. Well, you know, that seatbelt law, some people die when they get into accidents because they have a seatbelt on. So, well, it's all a matter of um, immediate intuition. You know, hopefully your survival instincts are intact and you can be brought to uh, a place and make decisions that will allow you to survive because you can put the seatbelt on and that may actually lock you in and it will delay you getting out if you need to. When the quake ends, motorists should proceed with caution and avoid bridges or ramps that may have been damaged. Some 2,000 people will die, tens of thousands will be injured, and more than 200 billions in damage, 200 billion dollars in damage, will result from a magnitude 7.8 or larger quake. Hundreds of aftershocks would follow, a few of them nearly as big as the original event. Well, of hundreds. Um, are these aftershocks as big as the quake? That'll take out California. So prepare to be self-sufficient for 72 hours following an earthquake or other major disaster. And I suggest that you prepare to be self-sufficient for as long a period of time as you can. Because 70 out, 72 hours, I don't think is going to cut it. Uh, it includes having a first aid kit, medications, food, and, and enough water for each member of a household to drink one gallon per day homeowners renters you should be know you should know how to turn off the gas in your house or apartment in case of leaks they're getting you uh, so well they're telling you it's coming um, 
And this, you know, you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know where you're going to be. I suggest that you, you know, have bug out bags in your car, in your home, all over the place, in your office, at work. <laughs> you know, bring uh, first aid kits and medications, uh, food and enough water for each member of your household or at least for you and your car. This is the world that we are living in. This is the life that we live now, unfortunately. I just hope to God that all of you are in the right place at the right time so that you can survive what is coming. As you can see, whether it's an earthquake, tsunami, flash flooding, hurricanes, you can prepare as well as possible, but when they take out your house, well, all of your belongings, all of your preparedness, uh, your, your prepared goodies will be destroyed. Hmm. So, I don't know. I, I don't, it, it's so, it, look, we are living such incredible evil and when you have so many people who are just evil to the core the only possible way that we could have ever gotten this stop was for the majority of those good people to not sit around doing nothing but to face the evil and take it out. We didn't do that so now we are just saturated in it. And evil knows no bounds. Evil has no limits. That's when it becomes a force so great that all you can do is do your best and hope for the best. Pray for the best that you'll be okay. And I hope everybody is. Ciao guys.